He was our best player tonight, I thought. And when you have a guy like that back there, you, you have a lot of confidence. You can you can make a mistake here or there, not that you want to, but you know if you do that he's going to be there to backstop you. Uh, tonight was a great example of that. I thought he made countless big saves to keep us in the game, to keep us up, to make sure they didn't win in overtime. Um, and I think he stole this one a little bit late. Barkley seems to be in, a, in one right now, and that's a good thing for us. He's dialed in and focused and... Um, you know, he's capitalizing on his chances. I thought Lafreniere had a heck of a game. I mean, his speed was evident. When he grabbed the puck, he was a difference maker and um, you know, more, maybe one of our more noticeable guys tonight. What did you make of the, the Truba hit and the decision not to give it a major? I, I, think, I think I got enough on my plate. I'm not going to do any refereeing or player safety tonight. I'll just stick with the coaching. Gotta love Paul Maurice, right, Marty? Here's Marty Viron, <laughs> our hockey analyst. Yeah. And uh, yeah, okay, let's get, let's get into that Truba hit. So just to review here, they reviewed mm -hmm. the hit. Uh, they reviewed it to see if yeah. it was a major penalty. They Ultimately, he got two minutes for elbowing. Do you feel like the officials got the call right on Truba? Yeah, I think they got it right. And listen, Jacob Truba walks that fine line, right? And he throws the elbows up. And this one wasn't a chicken wing but it was a leaning forward with the right elbow because he knew he wasn't going to get Evan Rodriguez in the body. And he's like, I got to get a piece of him. But when I slow it down and I look at all the angles, I'm thinking he didn't get Rodriguez in the head. He got him on the shoulder where the Florida Panthers actually have the numbers on the shoulders. And he got him right into the 17 right there. Boom. And then they catch the neck a little bit. I'm sure Evan Rodriguez say it didn't feel great, but it is not by the letter of the law, a five minute major and a suspendable hit. I know the intent is I'm trying to get a piece with my elbow on the player and I'm going to go up high. But, you know, the intent is not going to be penalized. It's the actual act that's going to be penalized. Kulikov had one hit on Wenberg last game where they reviewed it and dropped it to a two. I felt like it was the right call right here. And Truba already had a two-minute call on him for slashing just a few seconds before. So this was weird that he got a two-minute and then got a five-minute reviewed all in the same play. Now, this game... In, in, uh, some of these stats are incredible to me, Marty. 108 shot attempts for the Florida Panthers. 44. 44 shot attempts for the New York Rangers. It sounds crazy to say that a goalie who let in four goals stole game three. But did Igor Shosturkin steal game three? I used to love it when the other team would say we got goalie tonight. But they would never say they got beyond. But in this game, you could say <laughs> the Panthers got Shosturkin in this game. And that's, that's what I love. That he got, you know, they got Shesterkin. You look at Igor Shesterkin in the third period when the New York Rangers were really feeling the heat, right, from the Florida Panthers. You had chance by uh, Barkov. You had chance by Kachuk. You had everything right around the net. The shot attempts were 41 to 11 in the third period for the Florida Panthers. You're thinking, okay, most of those shots may have been from the outside. Let's dig into the numbers. 21 to 4 where the shot attempts from the slot and eight to one were the high danger chances. This one here, very late in the third period, Shesterkin buying time, despite the fact that they gave up a couple of goals in the third period and Florida tied it up. If it hadn't been for Shesterkin, that game ends in regulation. Now they get back after the third period in the locker room and they're like, let's breathe. We go to overtime, let's win it in overtime because our goalie Shesterkin was able to buy us that time to allow us to get to OT tied at four and let's go win it. So, yeah, the goalie definitely stole that one in game three. All right. Uh, so the Rangers improved to 4-0 and in overtime this postseason. They'll go for the 3-1 stranglehold on Tuesday. Later in the show, Marty's going to join me. We'll talk about the Edmonton Oilers who will go for their own 2-1 lead in their series at home on Monday night.